Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicked off the morning. Replacing the headlights on this car. They were horrible. Wanted him to be able to see where he's going. Pulled this light out and the dang clips fell off of it. So I had another one back at the house, but it's got the white corner on it. So I'm going to have to find one to get that to match. Replace that later on. I'm back. I'm back. At Two Stack Jacks. Yeah, boy. Oh, man. They took the car I was going to get a couple of parts from. That 850. I wasn't done with that. They cleaned up that mess. Man, I should have came early. The early bird gets the worm. There might be another one out here to get some parts off of. Uh-oh, look like they stacked it over to the left. Nope, that's the red one. Uh, look like they put it back under that 960. Well, we'll see in a minute. Gosh, dang. They did jam that thing back under there. Let me see if I could get that piece of trim there for my new car and get a couple other things I came here for. I think this power steering pump's probably fine for James. Need to get some hardware for somebody else off these radiators. And uh, look for that cargo cover and get a piece of fender trim. This one's got it too and get out of here. Power steering pump loose. Feels and sounds good. I am not in Kansas anymore, people. Everything I touch got rust on. Yuck! Yuck! Let me go down here and get this trim. Man, two stacks got the parts. This is what you got to go through to get them. They got to come at it. Come at it, man. They got to push those two cars back. Man, this is like a muscle operation right here. Now you can get in there to get at that one on top. I need a mirror off of that one for Willie Gilly. And then I need the cargo cover out of that red one on the bottom. Man, look at that. Woo wee! That stuff looks fun. Woo! So much for that sunroof. Oof. That wheel is not on on this right side. So uh, when he sets that down, that wheel's probably going to fall off. Yep, it stayed on. There ain't no lug nuts on it. One tan cargo cover. Now I'm going to get the mirror from off that passenger side. Made it over here to James's place to change this power steering pump looked like it leaked out what we put in there yesterday so we're gonna swap this out real quick and get him back on the road I got it all back together ready to rock and roll after we get some fluid between that and 35 we're over here with Andrew checking out his 850 R's white one trying to decide how old this pump is on here and yeah, it's about 10 years old I guess but it might have been old stock so that's not a danger for going bad but we do have some oil down here for, from somewhere when I suspect it may be seeping past this cam seal I don't think this one's leaking but that one's probably leaking. And we're going to take a look at this belt, see how bad this belt looks. And we're going to scan the computer for transmission codes. Timing belt's got a little bit of cracking on it, but it ain't got no chunks missing. It could stand to be replaced. 
So we're probably going to do that real soon here. Here he is, folks. Kenwood Stereo in that 850R. <laughs> he hooked it up without my help. But he's got this tan 850. Tan interior with the birch. These are steering wheel. We uh, got him steering wheel. We're going to replace that one day. Got 217,000 miles of somebody's getting 20 miles to the gallon. We're going to read this code on the transmission and see what's going on. It's revving up to like four or 5,000 RPMs before it's shifting. So we got the VST and we're about to hit it with a diagnostic test. Read the code. It's got three codes. AT114 mode selector switch signal. I think that would be PMP. Arrow down. Permanent fault signal too high. Oop, got a communication failure. We're gonna have to reestablish connection on it. And read the other two codes. Before we uh, TP sensor <laughs> throttle position sensor signal that could cause a problem with uh, your car shifting and throttle position sensor signal so. Let's clear these codes and and check the throttle position signal sensor. Make sure it's plugged in and everything. All right, so we look down here and it looks like the throttle position sensor is not even plugged in. So we are going to try to find that plug plug that in and see if that cures all our problems. Drew said he had an up arrow constantly flashing like that at all times. Still flashing. Mine's doing that too. So we're going to take it for a spin or I'm going to take it for a spin and see if it drives better or see if it drives normal with the throttle position sensor plugged in. I'm going to read the codes real quick see if anything's changed in the code. Throttle position sensor code was there. I erased the code. The car revved up and the arrow's gone. So I'm going to shut it off and restart it see if it stays gone and take it around the block. It was revving up near 5,000 just to shift. Here we go folks. See if it's going to shift right. It's already shifting. It's in second. And third, guess that's it. Throttle position sensor wasn't plugged in. Reading your codes figures it out. Pretty sure that sign says no turn on red. A couple people's already done it. Let's see if this truck's gonna take advantage of that. No turn on red garbage. These people don't know how to read English. I guess he's not going to do it. But they want him to. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.